Um, now I'm gonna keep one of these, um, which I'm gonna actually keep the cutoff modulation going over, uh, but I'm gonna actually take this one and I'm gonna pipe over to my BBD, uh, but let's hold off on that for a moment because I wanna get my low pass first going into the BBD. So I'm gonna go audio in right there and then I'm gonna take the mix out and go down into our uh, mixer down here. Here we go. There we go. Let me turn that up a little bit so you can hear it. There you go. Turn the resonance down on the filter a little bit. Now, since we only have Y mapped right now, why don't we hear how the cutoff affects the BBD signal? Okay, let me turn the resonance up just a little bit and now try it. Let me play with my BBD over here until I get a nice little mixture. Change the polarity. There we can kind of hear it a little more, at least I can. Turn up the amount going into the filter. Yeah, I'm liking that a little bit. Okay. So that's going to be our starting point right there. And now I'm going to take the X and I'm going to actually feed it over to our BBD. I'm going to go into CV number two right here so that way I can control how much is going to be affecting the delay clock. I'm going to patch right here. And then let's go left, right a little. Let's do a little bit of up-down movement. Right there, I'm just basically cutting the filter off. You can kind of hear it very muffled. Let me go up a little. And now let's just try in all the various directions. Kind of some nice little movements right there. And that's with very few changes that I've done to my basic BBD. I did kind of adjust the mix level a little bit and the feedback and uh, the polarity, but um, I didn't really do much else to that. So right there, that's just my straight patch. So now that you have a basic idea of how you can utilize this, um, let's talk multiples. Um, I have my signal now going from my Y right here, straight into cutoff. Uh, but if I wanted to send it to another parameter, like, let's say, what if I wanted to do frequency cutoff and resonance at the same time, I could just send to my multiples and then take one out from there, go into my cutoff, and then take a second one. So I'm basically just duplicating the signal a couple times. 
and then go into my resonance and then vary it even further still with just one joystick That's kind of cool. Okay. So that's just kind of a basic example. Now, the last thing we're going to do before we go into the next segment is I just kind of want to put all these little modulations that we're messing around with together. Uh, so let me take this out. And I'm going to go to X, and I'm going to actually take second half of this multiple. So I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to actually go over and do a little pitch bend. This is just for fun. Actually, that's a little too short. Let me get a different cable. Sorry about this. Should have planned it a little bit better. So I'm going to take one of these, go over to do a little pitch bend at the same time. And then I'm going to take that out and then go to my clock. So now I'm actually just using, you know, the X and the Y, but to affect four different parameters. Cutoff and resonance with the, let's see, that's the Y. And then the X is going to the clock over here, the BBD and pitch bend. So let's hear that. So, extreme fun to be had. And part of that is the BBD, but of course, adding this physical element to your patches can definitely liven things up a little bit for you. So, at any rate, that is going to do it for the audio demonstration this week. Um, next week, we're going to be taking a look at a different way that you can use the joystick um, with another sort of um, patch that I have planned. So hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be able to do that. Uh, just to give you a little preview, um, I'm going to try and do sort of an emulation of a quadraphonic type patch. Um, I'm just waiting for a module to come in. So if all goes well, that's what we'll be watching sometime next week. So thank you very much for watching. Hope that you found this useful and keep on patching out there. <laughs>